I'm no expert, but this Super Bowl super sucked. I mean, the potential for the fireworks and the explosive offensive displays were just, it wasn't live up to the hype. I mean, we all know Tom Grady is a football goat. I mean, he's seven out of 10 and you know, Mahomes, as much praise and hype as we put on him, which is well-deserved, I mean, he just got shut down tonight. The Tampa Bay defense picked up right where they left off two weeks ago against Aaron Rodgers and uh, the Green Bay Packers, and Aaron Rodgers actually had more of a, put up more of a fight and had a, a, a chance to win that game, whereas, I mean, as we all know, the Chiefs didn't even crack double digits. They scored nine points. They could have scored 12 if they settled for that field goal. But they knew they were in do or die position, and, and uh, three points just wasn't going to do it that that far into the fourth quarter, being that far behind. And uh, I'm just going to say Tom Brady, he is proven, and I know we all know the narrative, that he went from the Patriots, and we see where they ended up this season, not even making the playoffs, and he goes to a Bucks team that was cool last year. They were good, but no one was saying they were on the verge of winning the Super Bowl. Tom Brady comes over. He brings Gronk his uh, fucking wingman out of retirement. And here they go, just doing the damn thing. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just amazing to see. But although the game was a big letdown from a competitive standpoint, like I didn't have a, a, a dog in the fight. I'm neither a Buccaneers nor a Chiefs fan. But um, I kind of thought, yo, we've seen Brady do this many times before. You know, he's got six out of nine. If he's six for 10, that's still like, who's going to who's gonna win six fucking Super Bowls? Probably nobody. Um, and Mahomes just seems like the, the guy from the next generation with the biggest chance. I mean, this is already his second Super Bowl in two years, and uh, the only person who kept him out of the Super Bowl a few years ago was Tom Brady in that AFC Championship game. So we're like, yeah, he he could potentially make it to, you know, multiple Super Bowls. Will he make it to 10? I doubt it. I mean, him and Andy Reid couldn't even get it together enough to score uh, fucking 10 points today. How is he going to get to 10 Super Bowls? I mean, sure, we can think that he might get to more Super Bowls, and it's probably highly likely. He's like probably the best young quarterback out there, despite how he played tonight. I mean, we know he had an injured toe. We know he he was missing his off his uh, starting tackle. I mean, all that stuff. You know, those milliseconds, microseconds. That's the difference in between uh, having that extra time in the pocket to get that open guy and not. But when the game, and I know there were memes about it before halftime, and there was a lot of questionable calls. About the ref from what the referees did, they gave um, you know the Buccaneers uh, second chances, but ultimately every chance that the Chiefs had to capitalize on, they failed. Whether it's you stop them on the goal line and you hold them to three points, but no, on special teams you got a guy that goes off sides and gives them the five yards they need to get a first down, and guess what? They turn that into a touchdown. It's just like stuff like that. Uh, the you know the guys dropping passes. Could, when they should have converted. It was Kelsey could have caught a pass that would have converted on a key third down play that could have kept him in the game. Or just guys dropping passes in the end zone. It just it just wasn't a good game. I mean, the, the, the halftime show was good. The weekend was good. I guess that's the only part I saw. But as far as the game goes, it wasn't competitive. And as sports fans, when we watch the Super Bowl, all we ever want is a good competitive Super Bowl, high action, high scoring Super Bowl. And we know a lot of times that doesn't happen, but in recent years, most of them have been pretty good lately. Um, just like last year's Super Bowl, when Mahomes came back and the Chiefs came back from a 10-point deficit in the fourth quarter to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, you're playing uh, uh, Garoppolo, a former Brady backup. That's, he's no Brady. Brady, it just his, his, his cerebral approach to game, the, the, the poise, the confidence, Everything he brings from a professional standpoint, his, I'm sure his work ethic, his leadership, his ability to be a coach on the field, his resume, he has the trust of all his players. And uh, that defense just, just put a whooping on the Chiefs and didn't let him get going. I mean, what's Tom Brady going to do now? He's going to play again next season? Like, what if he gets to another Super Bowl? And how many more Super Bowls will Mahomes get to in his career? We know he's young. Well, you can't take this kind of stuff for granted. Look how many, uh, I mean, look at, I, I didn't see it. It happened before me, but I know about it because Dan Marino was one of the best quarterbacks of the 80s and the, and the early 90s and all that. And I know he got to a Super Bowl, like I think his rookie season, and it, that he lost and it was like, oh, he'll be back. He'll have more chances to win a Super Bowl. He never made it back. 
And we know the Chiefs are a good team, a dominant team. But as you see, it only takes one missing piece, one one hobbled toe, one thing to go wrong, and you just your opportunity slipped through your fingers. And I know Patrick Mahomes was hurting because he wanted to get that back to back, and he wanted to start to stack. You know, two Super Bowls against Tom Brady six. That's all right. Okay, you're, I'm only two thirds of the way behind you, but now you got seven to one. And some players only win one their whole career. Look at how great Aaron Rodgers is. Aaron Rodgers has been a great quarterback his whole career. Still great. He was great this year. But he still only got that one Super Bowl victory. And will he ever get another one? I mean, the chances are slipping away. The career is going by quickly. We know Mahomes is young. He's got, if he stays healthy, another 10. And if he's like Brady, shit, another 15 years left in him. But you can't predict, you can't predict anything like that. Look, just a couple weeks ago, he had that concussion. The same game he hurt his toe. I mean, he's out there. He's he's getting hurt. So we like Mahomes. We want him to have more chances. But what are the chances of any other quarterback winning seven Super Bowls, playing until they're 43, 44 years old, seven out of ten, multiple franchises, like just showing that you're the X factor. I mean, hats off to Tom Brady for being just one badass fucking quarterback, one badass athlete, one badass individual with the dedication and the focus and the mindset to just constantly be a champion. Like, he never settled. He could, Most players are happy after getting one, two, three. No, he's at seven. And I bet you right now he's over there thinking about, talking about how he's going to get to number eight. So, uh, disappointing game from a competitive standpoint, but uh, fun with the way the presentation was. I like Tony Romo as a commentator and, uh, you know, the halftime show, the pregame. Uh, all that it was all good. The commercials were fun, and it was an enjoyable experience. I ate some nachos. You know what I mean? We'll see. Hopefully, it's not a repeat next year. I want to see some new, fresh teams in the, in the Super Bowl next year. Super Bowl Fifty Five is in the books, and uh, hopefully, next year's Super Bowl is a lot more competitive and a lot more fun. And hopefully, you know, one of my teams is in it. <laughs>